President of the United States, Barack Obama, uh, giving a very rousing and moving speech. Uh, they're pretty close to uh, preaching, I would say, when it comes to this speech. Um, and there is the First Lady of the United States uh, on the stage, both of them, regardless, regardless of your ideology, representing this country over the last eight years with class, grace, and dignity, as the former Secretary of State said. And one cannot deny that. Again, if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, or what have you, and now they're going to the, in, to the crowd to do um, this rope line. I want to bring in my panel and discuss something that... Um, the president said, if we could turn around that sound where he said, I will take it as a personal insult, because I thought that was the line of the evening. When people were concerned, we said, can he sprinkle some of that magic, Obama magic, on Hillary Clinton? I think that was the biggest moment. That was not sprinkle. That was a whole bucket of Obama magic that he tried uh, to sprinkle on Hillary Clinton and on to young people who have not been... Um, so enthusiastic, at least we're hearing from pollsters to vote and from people that we're, you know, that we have been speaking to. I want to share a story, but I'll share the story after I get your thoughts on this speech. First to you, Jason. Uh, it was very powerful. He was, I, I mean, everything that President Obama said tonight was so passionate, so relaxed. You could, you could put a track on the back of this and make it a diss track for Donald Trump and an right. anthem for what his presidency has been. And I think that this is going to be replayed. I think it's going to resonate a lot. I'm surprised he didn't actually say Hillary Clinton's name, mm -hmm. um, but I think he did a very good job of, of galvanizing voters and galvanizing an audience that's already on his side to really get active. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, but he did say that was one person that he knew exactly. to carry that on. Julian? It was a very powerful speech. It connected his own legacy to the history of the civil rights movement with some very specific issues that are on the table right now, such as voting rights, as a response to Donald Trump's speech. Uh, and he also made a very passionate and very clear appeal mm -hmm. to Democratic voters yeah. uh, about why voting for Hillary Clinton without naming her yeah. is, in fact, uh, sustaining, again, not just his presidency, yeah. but a movement for social justice yeah. that has been ongoing at least since the 60s, yeah. if not longer. The story that I want to share, because we're going to have to move on and get to some breaking news now, is that as this was happening, my mother um, texted me and talked about there were days where there were tests to vote. She was part of that era where she had to go in and recite parts of the Constitution in order to vote. She said they stopped that. And then they, would have, they were allowed after that to go in uh, for people who could not read, which was my grandmother, and then to vote. So th know your history as a president. Say, thank you, panel. I appreciate it. We've been watching that coverage. I need to get some breaking news right now. And this is out of New York City. There's been an explosion that is taking place uh, in the Chelsea.